Hello, my name is Harold. This is Tech on Tech, and today we are going to set up and install Discord. So let's get started. First step we're going to do is jump on our handy dandy browser here. I use Chrome, but you're welcome to use whatever you want. We're going to go ahead and just do a search here. Let me get the proper keyboard so I can actually do this. Here we go. Let's do a search for Discord. I will post the default link in the description, but for now, uh, Google will feed you the first couple of results here, uh, download being the correct one. Uh, you'll, know it's, you'll know it's the correct link because you'll click on it and it will show you discord.com forward slash download. Same thing, I will put that in the description. We're gonna go ahead and grab the copy for Windows here, so let's go ahead and start the download. This should not take more than a couple of seconds here at our connection speed. As usual, I always say, if you can't find the download, it more than likely put it here in Explorer and it put it in the downloads folder, so it should be in there. As we can see, it's right there. I'm gonna go ahead and double click on it to open that file I just downloaded. We're gonna give that just a second to load here. Now, Discord does not have any prerequisites or anything, so you shouldn't need anything installed prior to installing it. So just that one file, download it, launch it, start the setup. I don't, I probably have an account, but I think I'll create a new one just to uh, just to kind of show you guys how it's done. So I'm actually going to go ahead and register for a new account. Give me one second. I need to find out which email I want to use for this. I believe it is Tech on Tech Official. So at Outlook.com. Username, we'll just see if they've got tech on tech available. Actually, they probably don't because I probably already have it. Let's see if they have tech on tech official here. We're just going to choose a generic password here. I'm not going to say what it is, but let's see. In fact, let's do that one more time here. Hold on. Let's redo that. For this step, you're just going to choose your own password. I'm also going to choose a generic date. Now, you may want to actually put in the correct information or your date of birth here. If you ever need to do recovery, I have noticed that in some cases they have used this information to uh, recover your account. So you may need that. Now, let's see if this can actually... Or let's see if this will actually work here. We're going to go ahead and allow access to that. It wants us to choose the scooters. It should be pretty easy to go through. Now, looks like that worked. We detected something out of the ordinary going on. We want to keep you in the community safe. It wants me to verify by phone. I'm going to do that. But I'm probably going to pause this so that you can't see exactly where I'm sending this, so bear with me for a second. After entering that information, it wants me to go ahead and do this again, so I'm gonna select the giraffes in the picture and verify. And it sent me a six digit code to my phone, so let's see if it sent it. There we go, it came in, so 544-586. It wants me to enter the, your password to confirm changes. I assume it's talking about the one I just created a moment ago. Let's confirm that. Seems to be kind of uh, lucky on this. So let's try that again. Okay, let's confirm that. Great, we'll verify your email. Now, I don't have it here. I actually have it outside of here. Outlook. Right. I'm going to have to sign back in on out here because. All right. Now you won't be able to see this outside of here, but on my email, I had to go in and I had to 
click the rabbits again to confirm. So I had to click the confirmation in, I, in my email. But I went ahead and I did that. And the second I did that, it automatically allowed me into the program. So now I am officially logged into it. I've got my name here. Tech on Tech Official, number 8122. Now, this will be my backup account. This isn't my primary Discord. But, uh, I sh and also I should note that these pound 8122s, uh, they're changing this naming scheme. So this is going to change here pretty quick. But using Discord is pretty easy. We can go ahead and just go in and explore public servers. People can also send you invitations and stuff like that. In fact, we'll just go and we'll just connect to the official Minecraft server. Oh. It's currently full. All right. Uh, well, I'm not really interested in the rest of these servers. Let's try it again. Nope. Okay. Well, let's go home and see if there's a community we can be a part of. Wow. Minecraft is just full. All right. Open AI it is. Once you're in here, some of them have verifications you have to do. Some things like this one where it says hit this button to verify it. But from here, uh, it's basically... It's a matter of connecting and finding servers for the communities and stuff that you like to do. Um, you can go down the list. Like here we've got the different servers for gaming and stuff like that. I'm not a particularly big fan. Of, oh, here. Mr. Beast Gaming. That should be a fun one. Let's click on that one. Here we have the different... Let's see. Welcome to Mr. Beast Gaming. Top things to do here. Events, rules, and announcements. I'll just look around here for now. Uh, over here on the left, we have the different areas of the Discord channel. And noted, you can create your own Discord channel and other people can connect to it. This is great for creating like chat rooms and just in general, like gaming and stuff like that. So I think I will go ahead and I will cut this here. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, feel free to... Leave it in the comment section below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. And so it's just a quick installation of Discord and to show you kind of how to use it and have a great rest of your week.